What is platelet-rich fibrin, also known as PRF? Is it actually better than platelet-rich plasma? And why are people saying it is the future of regenerative medicine? Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. I'm a sports medicine doctor currently practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I specialize in orthobiologic and regenerative medicine treatments. I get a lot of great questions in my video comments, so this Q&A series is meant to break down your top questions with clear science-backed answers. As always, these are actual questions from my viewers, so if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of PRF instead of PRP for treatments? I have seen one clinic offering PRF injections promising excellent healing property. What is the research on that? What do you think about PRF? Please do a video. Okay, so PRF stands for platelet-rich fibrin. It's marketed as the next generation of platelet-rich plasma. The two are actually very similar in that they both contain platelets, leukocytes, fibrin, and growth factors. The difference is that unlike PRP, PRF is prepared without anticoagulants. This means that you let the blood clot to form a fibrin matrix, and it's this matrix that gradually releases growth factors over a long period of time. And it's thought that this sustained release of growth factors leads to better wound healing, greater reduction in inflammation, and improved tissue repair. In fact, PRF has been studied quite extensively in many dental applications like oral surgery, where slow tissue healing and regeneration is needed. But while this all sounds good on paper, we still want to look at what clinical trials actually say when it comes to using PRF in orthopedics and musculoskeletal issues. This study compared the efficacy of PRP and PRF in arthroscopic rotator cuff repair, and they found that PRP significantly reduces retear rates and improves clinical function, whereas PRF offers no meaningful benefit. PRP also modestly improved functional scores, whereas PRF only had minimal improvement, and the effect size was small and below the minimum clinically important difference threshold. Another study examined the effectiveness of PRP in meniscus repair and found that PRP significantly lowers failure rates and reduces pain, while platelet-rich fibrin matrix offers no functional benefit. They concluded that PRP improves meniscus repair success rates and pain outcomes, whereas platelet-rich fibrin matrix does not provide meaningful clinical advantages. So while PRF shows promise in fields like dentistry, the evidence for its effectiveness in orthopedics is lacking. Therefore, I don't currently recommend it for musculoskeletal treatments. PRP, platelet-rich plasma, remains the better choice. 